Don't mention the children. Don't name the dead children. The people must not know the names of the dead children. The names of the children must be hidden. The children must be nameless. The children must leave this world having no names. No one must know the names of the dead children. No one must say the names of the dead children. No one must even think that the children have names. People must understand that it would be dangerous to know the names of the children. The people must be protected from knowing the names of the children. The names of the children could spread like wildfire. The people would not be safe if they knew the names of the children. Don't name the dead children. Don't remember the dead children. Don't think of the dead children. Don't say dead children. Omar Zuhair Dawur, age seven. Zuhair Ramadan Mahmoud Dahouk, age one. Yahya Sultan Zayd Shaheen, age 11. Yahya Tahseen Asad Mujayfil, age 12. Yahya Dhafar Mazin Shawa, age 12. One, two, three, four. Occupation no more. Five, six, seven, eight. Israel is a terrorist state. Free, free. Palestine. Free, free. Palestine. From the river to the sea. Palestine will be free. From the river to the sea. Palestine will be free. We were soccer in between their feet. No place to run. No Moses in siege. Waves stitched together, embroidered, weaved. Unwalkable, indivisible. Passage, implausible. On most days, we weep in advance. And when an MP represent this area for 27 years, and again, he's not here. When it comes to election time, I hope you all remember that these people are not supporting the call for a ceasefire. But once again, thanks for coming. There's a demonstration this Saturday in Harrow. You can find the details from, I'm sure you all know that, the WhatsApp group. So please, please come along. We've got to keep the momentum up because this thing's going to run and run until Palestine's free. We're going to be out here every week until we get a just settlement. So thanks very much for coming up. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! hope that we have remembered just a few, a minuscule amount of some of the children here today who have lost their lives in this terrible, terrible situation in Gaza and in the West Bank. So I'd like now if you could just stand for one minute in silence and just reflect, say an individual prayer, whatever you feel just for one minute. Thank you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Because on the marches you can see the Palestinian people and you know they're just breaking inside. Exactly, yeah. So she said to me, as a Palestinian and her close friends that are Palestinian, mm. they find it very difficult, it's very emotional for them to come out. So I said to her, I think this is our job now. Yes. You know, yes. to come out yes. and yes. show our support sure, sure. and raise our voice and be there for you. Yeah. And these protests, some people might think it doesn't make a difference. They make a huge difference. Especially well, in the Palestinians, you know? I hear that. I hear that because um, uh, Palestinian people in the uh, Palestinian Solidarity Campaign, they feed back all the information that they can. And apparently it does make a difference.